today is the day. I am so excited. We're about to unbox. There it is. Oh my God. A couple baby albino alligators. Salt has been such a huge part of the reptiles ever since the day we opened. We've had salt here. And people love to come to see my albino alligator. They are absolutely wonderful. Remember the day we unpacked salt and pepper? I do. I am beyond excited right now. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of shaking. Oh my God, please let these things be good. Why is this not opening? Oh my gosh. I don't see what the big deal is. I'm gonna show you this one first, guys, because this one is crazy. Oh my, what? You gotta admit, that thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at this, guys, it's a jet black alligator. Oh my gosh. It doesn't seem to be bitey. Oh my gosh. It doesn't seem to be bitey. Be careful, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> you hold this, you hold this. It's not gonna bite me? It's not gonna bite you. Listen. Oh my gosh, guys, an albino alligator. This is cool. <laughs> I remember the day that we got salt. I was so nervous, but I was also so excited. I remember seeing albino alligators when I was younger and just thought, oh my gosh, I would never actually own one. And here we are all this time later and we've had salt for over three years. I can't imagine what these little babies are gonna look like. I almost forgot how small she was. Why are we getting new ones? Yeah, why? You know, salt when she was a baby, you could hand her to almost anyone, little, little kid, and it was completely fine. But now she's getting pretty big. You know, she may not look like it, but she is heavy to hold. And now if you're not an adult, it's almost impossible to hold salt. Not to mention a bite for an animal this size could be a lot more serious. A little nip from a baby alligator, no big deal. Probably doesn't even break the skin. An animal this size, it gets you right. It may take a finger off. Plus baby gators are so cute. <laughs> Boys for life. Some coffee. Psych. <laughs> Beef jerky's probably not good for her, right? No, you can't give me cooked across this food. Some rats can have seasoning. Have you never seen ratatouille? <laughs> We're only supposed to have one anaconda, our girl Verde here. Well, that didn't last very long because then we went and got Ivy and Ariana. Don't forget about. That one's getting big. Is that the one you guys are keeping? No, this is the one that Brian's keeping. Shut up. He's not keeping another female, is yeah, he? Yeah, I showed him this one well, was. Stop showing them. Just it's sell them. Super sweet. Like, you can touch her face and everything now. She's very, very nice. And that proves our point, Mike. We have over 47 million anacondas. I think he's got a problem. He's definitely got a problem. When she was young, I used to touch each little tooth and wiggle it around just to make sure it was in the mouth good. I would not try that. No, don't you remember those days though? Good days, right? Two years ago? Yeah. About two years ago, we'd check every single tooth. And now look at what happens. Oh my, she's fast. You don't want to mess around with a girl like that. And that's why we don't touch her face anymore. So a baby would be perfect. You got that, Mike? I got it. No, I have to hear. Fine. FedEx is here. FedEx is here. FedEx is here? Yeah, it just delivered. <sighs> here it is. The box I've been waiting for. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I saw it through the window and I had to run all the way over here. This is it. Oh my gosh, they're here. I'm so excited. And it's been a few years since we've been at this spot. I was so excited last night, I could barely sleep just knowing that these guys were gonna show up. It's always nerve wracking because they're not cheap animals, you know? These things cost a lot of money. You know, the weather is starting to get a little bit cooler. Last night was a little chilly, so yeah. I was like, please. But alligators can actually handle some pretty cool temperatures. You guys ready for this? No. Were you excited last time? I think you said, alligators aren't my thing. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I forgot how much pattern they have on them. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're bigger than I think salt was. Oh my gosh. It's pink. My gosh, open it up. It's crazy. Yo, you almost forget how much pattern that they actually have. They changed so much. Salt was like this? Yeah. yeah. Salt was just like really? this. Really? Oh my gosh. Look at this one here. It's got even more pattern. Look at it. It's got his little mouth open. Hi, buddies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are the cutest little things in the world. Why did we get two of them, you might ask? Why? Did you get two of them, I yeah. might ask? Why, Why did you two? get two of them? Well, the truth is I'm only keeping one of them. A buddy of mine is actually taking the other one. So one of these guys, which one should we we actually choose to keep. This one's got a little less pattern. Yeah, touch it seems it. a little less feisty. Look at it. Oh yeah, this is nice. That's the one. Yeah, we exactly. Keep. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this one is. This one's feisty. Kind of like the feisty one though. To be yeah. honest with you. We're an interactive reptile zoo. Yeah, but it's not feisty. It's just a little bit misunderstood. What are you talking Wait. about? <laughs> Calling for its mama. Wait, listen. Wait, listen. <laughs> when you when you squeak, it's not a squeaker <laughs> toy. <laughs> you hear that, guys? <laughs> Oh, he got it good. Do that again. Do that again. 
Who knew you they made so much noise so yeah. young? I'll be honest with you. I think I want to keep this one. What? I, I think I want to keep this one. Wait, we all just said that's a good one. So I think that we're going to keep this one. So we do need a name. Do you guys have any idea what name? <laughs> this thing is reminding me of the skeleton from Mario Kart. Remember what that's name? Bones? Oh. Bones isn't a bad name. Let me know down in the comments, guys, which you think we should name oh. our new albino alligator. It's absolutely so cute. When you're down there, do me a favor. Can you subscribe to the channel? It certainly does help a lot, but wow. What do you think, Lori? Tell me. Hold Here. it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Hold them both. Hold it, Mom. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold it. Hold, hold it. it. Well, have you ever held an alligator before? <laughs> no, not really. They aren't my things. <laughs> or so wait, cute. does she do it this way? Yeah. yeah. They're okay. so cute. I want to stick my, my tongue pose. in the... Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> so there it is, guys. A couple new albino alligators. What do you say we put them in their new enclosure? Here at the Reptarium, we're only also supposed to have one rhino iguana, Bella, which kind of started the whole Reptarium. Yeah. And now we have Diddy and Dixie. We have a bunch of other iguanas. Right, Noah? Yeah. This being Diddy, this is one of the other two that Brian just somehow gained into the collection. I'm really starting to see a pattern here. Do you? Yeah, look close. Oh, yeah. That is a pattern. It's, it's, not, it's not... Yeah, it's not super... Fights either. It's just like I got my mouth. Oh, I love the noises they make. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> wow, they are both girls, actually. <laughs> yeah, duh. I know. I wasn't I know. here when Salty got here. And here we go. This is the enclosure. We usually keep the baby gators in here, but we're actually going to keep the albinos in here alone. Look at how absolutely adorable they are. Oh my gosh, they are incredible. Look at here, buddy. Hear him chirping? That's the most adorable sound I've ever heard in my life. That chirp is actually chirping for mama, right? Baby alligators are always pretty close to their mom. And when they chirp like that, the mom knows that they're in danger or something like that. Of course, these guys haven't been with their mom since they hatched. So they don't even know what their mom is, to be honest with you. But I love these guys. They are absolutely old. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. Can't believe we have three albino alligators only for a couple days, but then we'll have two. We'll have salt and we'll have this little one here. Whatever you want. Is it bones? Is it something else down in the comments? Let me know. Wow, albino alligators, guys. How freaking awesome is that? I'm feeling like a gremlin today. And don't forget about the retics, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, Lucy was one of the first retakes Brian ever had. He's had it for about 14 to 15 years now. And it's just another one of those addiction things. She's not looking too heavy. She's getting close, man. Don't forget about Al. Oh, oh. I'm trying to help You're you. You're literally the worst. I'm trying to get out of these. Don't forget about Brudita. Hey, hey, hey. Don't forget about Mike. And the beautiful Sunfire, my favorite. I think there's one on the other side too. Bill, Sally, I brought you guys something cool. Cool, that's a beautiful looking. What do you think about alligator. that? That's an albino alligator. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You wanna hold it? Gorgeous. Uh, you can hold it, it's super nice. It's super nice, it won't bite, I promise. You're always so brave, you're divine. It's like that. Look at you go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. look at how cool. Oh my God. You're holding an albino <laughs> alligator. Albino, this is the first time I've ever done this. Oh my God. I did. I did. It was a chirp for its mom. Oh my God. Isn't it, this is just only about a month, month and a half old. Isn't it cute? How big do they get? About eight foot. Oh, this one we got. Oh wow. What are you going to do when it when it gets eight foot? Much like we do with our alligators here. We grow them up for a while and then we trade them back for small ones. Salt and pepper are with us forever. But this little monkey here probably is only going to stay with us for about two years. Get it to about maybe a little smaller than salt. Once it gets too big for people to handle, we'll go ahead and trade it back in for another little baby. It's going to be heartbreaking because I tell you, I fall in love with these animals so much and I know how hard it's going to be to actually have to send it back in another baby. The fact is, we can't keep 20 adult albino alligators, you know? How do they ship it for you? Uh, FedEx. <laughs> I forgot the keys. What are you doing? Stop, man. Stop. Can I have your keys real quick? Oh, I just can't unlock the... Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no, huh? What? That guy is dimmer than a busted light bulb. And Gemma. And the devilish one, Butterscotch. Did you miss me? <laughs> Night Fairy. The illustrious, spoon-motivated, reticulated python. Night Fairy is another one that he got. Why? Addiction. And our new girl, Neo. Next. Of course, the whole idea behind the Reptarium is interactions, right? So I want people to be able to come and interact with the small alligator. But of course, we have to give these guys some time to get established, right? So the one that actually stays with us is going to be here for probably a month before we actually let people start holding. We want to make sure we've got some growth that's eating really steadily. We don't want to cause any stress on the animal that would cause it to not eat well. We're going to be the only ones messing with these little monkeys. But here in another month or so, once they're well established and we feel comfortable, you'll be able to come to the Reptarium. And you'll not only be able to see salt, and we'll probably take salt out a little bit, but now you can hold a little 
little baby albino alligator, just like we did back when Salt was a little one. Listen, Salt will be with us her whole life. She's gonna one day get over eight foot long. So we're gonna have a huge enclosure over at the new place for her so that we can spend our entire life with her. But again, she's getting to that size where it's getting kind of hard to take her out and actually have people hold her. She's gonna be more like a feeding animal and maybe even just crouching down and taking a picture next to her. Oh! oh, oh. Because holding her like this, even this last 30 seconds, my arms are starting to hurt. And as of Asian water monitor, we're only supposed to have elders. Let's not forget about Toothless, the melanistic Asian water monitor. Frosty. Come on, come here, boy. Come on, buddy. Frosty, the leucistic albino, we don't really know what no, he he's is. He's a red eyed leucistic. He's the only one in the world. Bye! All right, last but not least, we have Pick Up the Snow Blind Albino. And when they say blind, they mean it. He can see shadows, but he just can't see what he's biting. Can't take back the love oh, that, that I gave, gave you. Oh, I must replace, replace you. you. Now I got dirt in my eye! Maybe we should actually keep this one for its whole life. What do you think? Absolutely not. Why? It would be cute. It's not going to matter. What's the difference between two alligators and three alligators? About eight feet. Yeah, but give or take an inch or two, it's no big deal. No, just stop. Please. All right, cool. And we were supposed to only get one cow king, but this is two. This doesn't count. Two snakes, one body. What are you saying? So this it's two snakes with one body. So technically, it's still one snake just with two heads. This is two different bodies. Right, right, right. If we were in the same shirt like we were before, right, that's right. one body. That's, but it's two bodies in one skin. You know what I'm saying? Two bodies in one shirt, like Ben and Jerry with the two heads inside one. My dad is a problem. What the heck are you guys doing? Uh, playing not, with them. You're not supposed to be playing with them. They're supposed to get settled. In. Leave them alone. Look how cute they, they are. are. Trying to get them comfortable. I know. We can't Who's stop. Good baby? We can't stop playing with them. Seriously. Come on. Put them back and get out of here. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. God, it's been like four hours. She doesn't even finish the tank. <laughs>